And imagine... It's so dirty. Imagine oh the God. look on my face when I seen this and I did not know what it was used for. <laughs> this is a toothbrush. That is completely black. I was just like... Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. For those of you who don't know, I'm Dimitri. And I'm Aika. And we haven't done a sit down video in a very long time. So I'm actually happy that, you know, we're gonna sit down and talk to you guys. Yes, we got a really good one for you today. We are gonna go over what it's like for me to date a beautiful oh my God. Caribbean girl. <laughs> From Jamaica. From Jamaica. Now, disclaimer, you know, um, we're not here to offend anyone. This is pretty much your experience in dating me, who happens to be Jamaican. It doesn't mean that all Jamaican women are like this. It just means yes. that this Jamaican woman is like this. Exactly. Right? Yeah, and you know, your relatives and the people I've met. <laughs> Anyways. This is my first experience dating a Jamaican girl, a, a black girl, and you know, at the start, I'm like, oh, you know, like everyone's like, what, what, what's it like? Like, what's the difference? And I'm like, oh, there is no difference. And then you kind of like slowly start to explore and like see, oh, I didn't <laughs> know that, or I don't know what this is. And uh, the first thing that you're gonna run into is the hair. <laughs> Situation. And I like literally just touched it as you said it. So the funny. situation. You're gonna go into the bathroom. You're gonna see hair all over the place. That's and not on a head. It's just <laughs> everywhere. There's products. There's appliances that I didn't even know. Can I tell you guys? When you go into the bathroom, <laughs> and and you're with a Jamaican girl, proceed with caution <laughs> because. There, it's a death trap. There's appliance cords across the bathroom trying to trip you up. Oils. Oh my goodness, with the oils. There's there's coconut oil. There's um, olive oil. There's, uh, what is the other one? The, 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 the castor oil. The castor oil. <laughs> like, there's lotions. I'm just like, what? You like, know what? I will say, yeah. You know, you're trying to wash the oils out. I'm putting the oils in. So we do have a lot of... Hair, listen, I have never met a Jamaican girl in my life that doesn't care about her hair. Okay, we're always trying to <laughs> situate the hair, you know, to keep it healthy, to keep it thriving. <laughs> Thrive. And yeah. then and then when you think like you you and then when you think you got it your mind wrapped around it, she throws like a curveball at you and you're like, What? Like What are you running? Oh my God, he is so dramatic. Whatever. Listen, the hair has to be cute at all times. Okay. <laughs> Let's rewind to a time where I didn't know anything. <laughs> That's and for I edges. That's for edges. And imagine... It's so dirty. Imagine oh the God. look on my face when I seen this and I did not know what it was used for. This is a toothbrush that is completely black. I was just like, what is in her teeth? What is this? Why would you bring that? Yeah, okay, give it to me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Long time. If you are a black girl, you know that we use toothbrushes for our edges, okay? It lays it the best and it's like soft, like it's nice and you know, good for the edges. The reason why it is so dirty and black is because of all of my products. And I have this like- The oils. <laughs> no, I have this like edge control that's like darker to make your edges look thicker. Ladies, if you wanna know what it is, let me know in the comment section so, and, I'll, and I'll help you out. It's a whole nother That's video. why it's black. But you know, for you to expose me like this- <laughs> I'm, I'm not joking. The first time I seen that, like I literally stopped and stared at it and I'm like, what the f <laughs> What is that? <laughs> But honestly, it's like a science experiment in there. There's glues, there's lotions, there's oils. Moving on to the second thing that you're going to run into. What is that? Jamaican women <laughs> think <laughs> what? that they are the best cooks in the house, in the condo, in the country, in all of the other Caribbean islands, the Jamaican women think that they own it and you know what 
They should. Because, damn. When it comes to cooking, when it comes to cooking, the Jamaican island, we do believe that we are the best cooks of all. All the islands were the pickiest. Nobody could cook better than our mamas, than our grandmothers, than our aunties. Like nobody could cook better than like, you know, than us. That's what we honestly truly believe. So yeah, you, got, that's you had to write picky too because like we'll go to we are picky. we'll go to a Caribbean restaurant and I'll be like, oh, this is so good, and she is a hardest person to please yeah like we'll have to go to one store to get their oxtail the other <laughs> store to get their dumpling the other store to get the chicken and like the because you know what because like jamaicans i am not joking if we know anything we know what good food tastes like and we know it in our bones it's like it's like it's like a trait that we were born with you know what i mean shout out to your aunt audrey um <laughs> because sh her aunt is the best cook and she is dedicated. Yes. Like when she gets you a meal, it's like you're eating the meal and she's immediately cooking another one. And as soon as you're done and you think you're full, she throws another plate of food. And yes. it's not like it's another plate of the same food. It's a totally different meal. It's because we show our love through food. Well, she loves me then. Yeah. We, we, <laughs> she loves me. We do. We show like Jamaicans, Caribbeans. Um, we show our love through like food, the preparation, you know, um, even the presentation of it. That's how we show our love. Like even when I'm so angry at you, I'll still cook for you yeah, she does. and and like feed you. Like I'll make sure that at the very least you eat. She'd be like, here, eat it. <laughs> <laughs> I made it with love. <laughs> And if you go to a uh, Jamaican girl's home or, or any Jamaican home, these people are so warm and so welcoming. It was like the second that I walked in, they immediately accepted me as their own. And it's like yeah. anything that they would have done for Aika, they would have done for me. Yeah, and maybe... They are like that. Jamaicans, we are very protective. We are loving. We are warm. We're welcoming. Yeah. Um, we don't like anyone to feel unwelcomed. For sure. I will say that. We are, you know, Jamaicans are the best. I know this. I, I've been you this. I'm glad you now know this. Like, when we went to Jamaica, <laughs> like, your family took care of us. There was not one single thing that we had to worry about. Yeah. Was like, all right. This one, um, you know, if, if you're a white person, especially, you're and you're dating a Jamaican person, girl or guy, really, uh, you're going to run into this. I didn't realize how bad a dancer I was until I started dating her. Because when you put, like, if you got two bad dancers, <laughs> like, it's fine, right? Like, it looks like it, it matches and it's like, yeah, they're not the best, but it's whatever. But when you put a bad dancer next to a good dancer and they try dancing together, it just is very apparent that you suck. And she, and you guys all, like, what are you guys, like, born and you're, like, dancing out of the womb? Like, you just, you have that rhythm. Yes. I don't know one Jamaican person that doesn't have it to some degree. Yeah, I mean, I do feel like the Caucasians are, like, <laughs> rhythmically challenged. I, I really do. I feel like, I don't know, I think it's just something that we're born with. Because like, even if you don't know how to dance, you know how to move. You know how to rock. You know how to, like, hold a beat. I, you know what I think it is? I feel like Caucasians, they dance with their heads, their hands, and their lips. They're always like, like, you know, or something. And then they shake <laughs> the body. The they shake the body. And Jamaican, it's like a whole rhythm. We move everything. It's I a can't. vibe. It's a vibe, you know? And I, and I, and I do think it's, um, something that your ancestors didn't, like, they didn't have the sauce. They didn't right. have the seasoning, so that's why we were. <laughs> the the Greek Spartans were busy fighting the three hundred war, and 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 we were just stiff, <laughs> stiff, and have no rhythm. And I'm telling you, of all like even especially in the uh, white people category, I think I'm on an extreme side where I just really suck at dancing. No, and I, I'm like, extremely no, no, no. stiff. No, I'm I mean, so like, stiff. I've seen, okay, in the white people category, I don't think you're on that far end side, because I've seen the Rhythmically Challenged yeah. try it, yeah. and it is not good. I feel like at least you could, like, keep the beat. When we're dancing, like, I know she's, like, feeling the music, and she's dancing. I'm concentrating. <laughs> I'm grinding in here, like, okay, move your hip like this. Oh I see another guy over there. He's doing this. Okay, I'm going to do that. Like, <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm not. It's not. It's 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 tough. It's very hard. And uh, if you're white and you're gonna be dating a Jamaican girl, know that you know, you're like the the wines and the moves. The, the Jamaican wines. It ain't wine. nothing you've ever seen yet, honey. Know that. <laughs> Another thing that Jamaican women always do, and I think the guys do it as well, they will turn the most awful situation into the biggest joke. Yes. Like, I could, could be going through the hardest time, and I'll hear her pick up her phone and dial her friend in what would normally be a conversation that's like, uh, oh, they're laughing. They're laughing at it. They're laughing at the person who said the thing that offended. Like, you know, they're turning everything into the biggest joke. Yeah. And I don't know how you guys do it. You guys I mean, I feel like, I don't know, but Jamaicans, we're naturally just like jokesters. We're naturally... Um, growing up, we roast each other a lot. Oh, it's just the way that we use to get through things. When <laughs> your Jamaican girl starts laughing, run. <laughs> Why? Because when they go laughing hard, this is you. Ah! <laughs> Ow! The hell? <laughs> she hits me. She hits me all the time. And not only does she hit me hard, but she hits me in the same <laughs> spot. So it's just like... Boom, 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 boom. It's a, it's, I think it's a Jamaican laugh. A Jamaican. Or you'll is put... it me or is it like, at, when we laugh, we hit things. We hit things. We just, it's, a, it's an expression that we... And you push. We... You push too. You're like, Yeah, ah. I push. <laughs> and I'm just like, I'm not ready for it. Why push me so hard though? Like... So if you're going to make her laugh, if you think you're funny, as funny as I am, which is like, you know, she's always laughing all the time. I'm run. always laughing. Just be braced. I'm always laughing. Best part, you're going to run into dating a Jamaican girl is that they are really loving and strong. Like, you know, something that would happen to me, I'd be like, oh, like end of the world. Like I said, you guys are you're laughing about it. You, you're just, you're strong and you take things very well. And, and obviously like this doesn't speak for all Jamaican women, but in my experience, um, Aika and her family, especially the women are just like, they're so nurturing. They, they put, other people before them like all the time whether it's like you know cooking making sure they're they're uh taken care of they're comfortable they're just so so nurturing and i've, I've actually never seen anything like it and in Ika's case like she's so loyal like there is nothing that somebody can say about me and she won't stand up for me and that is true <laughs> right like she yeah. just has my back one hundred thousand percent to a level that I've never experienced before. And, and like I said, is it is it a Jamaican thing? Um, you know, I'm sure it, it varies from person to person, but my experience is they are very loyal and very, very passionate. Um, passionate people. Very, yeah. <laughs> if you're watching out there and if I miss something, this is my experience. Uh, if, if I miss something major about dating a Caribbean Jamaican girl, Leave it in the comment section below, and we'll be back with another video. Yes, we'll be back, you guys. Let us know if you want me to do a video on what it's like dating a Greek guy. Um, yeah, let us know. <laughs> okay, ready? Okay, I'm ready. Okay. Oh my god! I'm actually quite nervous because we haven't done a sit-down video with the people in so long. We're gonna be just fine. This could go in our video about uh, what it's like dating a Jamaican girl. She likes to hog all the light. Well, because you don't need it. You're already like light bright. Night light? You're a little night light. Do we want to close that little gap right there? <laughs> you are meticulous! Oh my <laughs> gosh! Okay, oh my god. And um, one thing that I would like to point out if you guys can see right there, that is one of your wigs oh sticking God. out of the closet. <laughs> Wait, are you filming this? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have been exposed. Oh, right. Wait, are my lips dry? I feel like they're gonna get, it's gonna get drier and drier. And I feel drier. like mine are always 10 times drier than yours. Let me see. Damn, I need to shave too. Your lips are not dry at all. Your lips actually always look moisturized. Wait, how is my hair? How's my hair? Guys, how is my hair? Crimped it and did all this well, crazy stuff. Well, I crimped stuff. it last night and just brushed it up today. So I okay. just want to make sure that, you know, the hair. I cook like bland, like, 
tasteless unseasoned, food. Unwashed, uncooked. But then when she does cook, seasoned, delicious. It and is cultured. delicious. <laughs> and like when you get a Jamaican girl rattled up, she talks. <laughs> Did you just say that? That was so white. Rattled up. Rattled like, up. <laughs> she talks lightning fast. <laughs> you'll be you'll be getting like like cussed out and you're just like what is she saying? I don't even know what she's saying. You know what? I definitely do think there's some things that Dimitri missed, but this is Dimitri's experience and what it's like dating a Caribbean Jamaican girl. <laughs> no. Um, so I didn't want to really like jump in and say, well, this, this, and that too, because it's his experience, right? right. So yeah.